right, guys, I have less than 40 minutes to do some picking, so let's start real fast. We'll go into the arc and breeze through these aisles. Drop Sarah off. She's getting her nails done. So I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, whose cart is that? Uh, I think someone just left their cart. Go ahead and run through this front side. Sometimes there's some good uh, vintage glass, but it looks right now <laughs> like very modern... Uh, Hobby Lobby type of stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with that, just not my deal. Um, so we're gonna go around and see if we can find some stuff in the kitsch aisle. Love this little pottery piece, but it's new. Um, I think it's missing a little lid for it as well. This is upsetting to see, darn it. I always love the grab bags on this corner but it looks like they are not stocked just yet. So I'll have to come back in a couple of days. Yeah, the shelves are kind of sparse. So I'm guessing they're probably about to really stock up. But do you have one of these? I don't, and I'm thinking about getting it. You can lasso things, maybe get Frankie. Yeah, I'll leave it for a doll collector. She's cute works usually this stuff is like piled on top of each other so I'm guessing they're organizing and gonna be bringing out some new stuff so I may have to just swing by later after I pick Sarah up oh my gosh I can't believe it this is a Holt Howard kitty shaker and oh my gosh she's in really nice condition doesn't have her stopper, but for three, oh my gosh, $3.99? Yeah, that's mine. Now, if I could just find her boyfriend. Meow, meow. All right. Some fun glass. I believe this is Hazel Atlas, judging by the base. Not really big into the etched glass, but it's a really pretty piece. Looking for, there's some legs. What's behind that? Oh, modern stuff. And here's the legs that I've been talking about. Now, she has already sold, um, but so I saw those stinky feet just sticking out, and it has its original tag from whoever donated it. And this composite doll has seen better days. However, she still has all the good details where they're needed. The eyes are pretty creepy, great for Halloween, also great for a doll collector, like in a shabby chic bedroom, really cool. So she's gonna hang out here in my cart. She's definitely rolling with me. And I'll have her hold the kitty cat. Yeah. I was willing to pay that just because, you know, she doesn't need to go to the garbage. All right, so now we're just going to breeze through this aisle. Um, most of the time, there's not any good glass in here. It gets uh, pulled and put on end aisles or in the case. This pottery piece is cool, but I feel like it's missing part. So I'm going to leave that for someone else to mess with. I do feel like that was one regular piece that was supposed to be together. A lot of clear glass. Nothing that interested me, but I always love looking through all these uh, metal pieces and just miscellaneous crap because you never know what you can pair it with. Sometimes you can find a mid-century drink caddy. Sometimes you can, oh, like this piece, this silver piece is really cool. I didn't want to grab it, um, but the black handle is made of wood, very MCM mixed with that uh, silver. So, but there was a little bit of damage that I don't think polishing it would have fixed it. So I decided to leave that. Butterfingers. There was no candy in that Butterfingers tin, unfortunately. But I found a whole bunch of symbols. Definitely cool. But what am I going to do with a bunch of symbols? So you never know if you're going to find a fun tin sign. That one was fun. I long time ago I used to sell these English wall wall plates. This got my eye. Totally took me. I thought for a second that it may be vintage uh, Christmas, and it's a nice metal piece. But when you look at the bracket up atop, you, and of course the backside, you can tell it's very new. But I thought it was pretty cool. I like how the ice is going to the side, wind blown. This guy. Every time I see this mold, I'm like, why? 
<laughs> it just makes me sad. Love brass. Brass pieces are fun to fill in with your vintage glass and pottery. Really fun pieces. Now, if it was a four leaf clover. All right, so I can tell that I'm like going a little too slow here and I've got a Goodwill down the street. So I'm gonna start picking up the pace. She's a bell, fun little bell, but I don't really do bells or symbols. So no bells, no symbols. <laughs> This is one of those pieces like Michael Todd and Misty were talking about. It got me, so I held it up to the light, and sure enough, it's flash glass. Always double and triple check. Ooh, this is a really nice piece. Unfortunately, I can't find its partner. So it, I know we have the cream here and the sugar is nowhere to be found so hopefully they'll find it in the back and pair them together later in the day I like to keep those pieces together if possible oh carts this is like squirrel some amber glasses nothing special this one hasn't been cleared out yet so let's go ahead and dig a little bit see some brass Ooh, there's something colorful underneath. Ah. Unfortunately, this looks very modern, but I love the green and blue together, and who doesn't like an uh, elephant for their house? Okay, I love my mugs. A lot of newer mugs today. Campbell's soup, that's great for your beef bouillon. It's a good one. These are fun for a party, you know, if you have a PBR fan and a beer uh, Budweiser fan, they can have a little battle. I don't know. Good condition. It's almost too many things to look at at once, so I like to kind of pan back and forth until I see something. And this Leo large uh, beer glass definitely caught my eye. Love the yellow. Traditional Leo design, really love it. Gonna go through the linens since Sarah's not with me. I always like to surprise her with a linen piece that I might find. That was a nice piece, but it was kind of worn, so I left it. But of course I love that yellow. I think one more aisle and then we're probably gonna kick it. Wait, oh my gosh. Ah, it's got, okay, so it's been backed with this really crappy backing. So I'm gonna leave that one, but those colors are phenomenal. I think I may have gotten one. Yeah, I'm gonna surprise Sarah with this. All right, guys, me and this little creepy doll, we made it through the ARC checkout real fast, so we have enough time to drive down the street to Goodwill. Say hi. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it safe. All right, caught both lights as a green, so we're going to roll in here quick. And I think I have about 20 more minutes, so we're going to be extremely fast in here. One of my favorite Goodwills in the Springs. Misty and Michael liked this one, I know, as did Amy. And right off the bat, I saw this piece and I was super jazzed. But sure enough, there's a big chunk taken off on the top. So luckily, I took my time. I was really in a rush, so I could have accidentally picked that. So glad it was on top so I would see it. This little shaman, he's made of crystal. And I just love his little squatty body and the yummy color. So I snagged him for sure. So that's my first first snag in Goodwill. Not too All bad. Right. So let's go ahead and go to the front here. 
We've got some fun kitsch. Try to breeze through here pretty fast. A lot of hobbyist pieces, little minis. Every once in a while you find a good one. Now, as I'm looking, I see a lot of fun unicorns, but all of the unicorns that I looked at here, they had a little chip here or there, and most of them on their horn. So had to leave them because they couldn't pierce the sky. But that poodle wanted to come with me and I said no. Got me, Ikea, bad Ikea. No, I like Ikea, but some of their pieces catch my eye too fast. Like this, this unicorn was cute, but he was missing part of his horn. And Odagiri is really a fun brand to collect. And he's a music box. Oh, another little one. A lot of little unicorns here, but they were just all slightly damaged. What a bummer. I snagged this and I took a chance. This is a beautiful piece um, serving tray, but by Culver. And unfortunately, the scratches that are so deep uh, weren't able to come up with Bar Keeper's Friend. So I'm keeping it for my own collection for now. This is an antique trinket box with um, a bulldog chained on the front. And I love the inlay wood on this piece. It has a pine in there. And for that price, I had to snag it. I know there's some bulldog collectors out there. All right, it's time to go get Sarah. So I'm just gonna quickly breeze through. And luckily I did because two large Ellie Smith scroll canisters and they are that beautiful yellow amber. Now someone stored a lot. All right, just gonna quickly look through these shelves. There's quite a bit, a bit of a line up front, so I'm hoping that I'll just taper off while I look at these shelves, because I'm in a hurry. I like to go fast. Oh, this hot piece was hiding up, up top. Unfortunately, it didn't have any of the cups, so I left it. But the design is really cool. And I love those colors. See if there's anything on these end aisles. This Goodwill is a hit and miss for sure, but when you hit it on a good day, it's a really good day. Oh, lime and lemons, I'm telling you. I don't need any though. Let me know if you see any of this dishware that you're interested in. I don't really pick it very often, but if there's something that you see, I'll pay attention next time. This was a really beautiful wooden sculpture. Unfortunately, it looks like there were antlers that are missing from it because on the on the head you can see that there's little two little holes where the antlers were supposed to go. I almost snagged it. Almost. But it's also kind of top heavy, so I don't feel like it's a one of those pieces I would want to set up next to glass or anything. Yeah, I just almost dropped it right there. <laughs> oh, here we go, Santa. This looks like an 80s glass for sure. Fun to have some milk set out for Santa. Yeah, 1982 by Pepsi. Now Dasher, now Dancer. Just one, so I left it. And here's a nice Culver glass. And see, I grabbed it along with that platter, even though there was a little bit of dishwasher damage to that. So I ended up just keeping both of those pieces for myself. And I'm not upset about it, because it's nice to have some nice Culver pieces to pull out for like an eclectic serving. Always looking for fun mid-century barware. Uh, Costa Boda. I'm gonna have to snag this one. The glass looks a little hazy, but I'm pretty sure we can get that one clean. Yeah, it looks all looks nice together, I think. 
one more aisle and it's time to head out. Dun, 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 dun. Not seeing anything. Oh, I was really hoping for a mid-century shelf today. Oh, this mirror is cool, but it is, it's seen better days. I'm going to pass on that. Well, I'm going to swing by these lamps and then head up front because I got the text. It's time to go get Sarah. And thanks so much for thrifting with me, guys. I'll be back with another video soon. Uh, please like and subscribe. Until then, peace out.